Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can deploy a Node.js app to shared hosting space via the cPanel interface. So I'm going to be deploying my app to some shared hosting space I have with this company, Host with Love. So in case you don't already have some space, they do some pretty good deals starting at $490 per month. And if you purchase over a longer time period, it can be even cheaper. So over three years, it works out to $392 per month at the time of this recording. And the good thing is that in all of their packages, all of their shared hosting packages, Node.js is supported on the server. So I'll post a link to this in the description below this video in case it's something that interests you. So I'm already inside cPanel on my shared hosting account. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a new subdomain for my Node app. So if you go down to domains and then subdomains, you can enter the new subdomain here and cPanel will do the rest. So I'll call this new node app. Okay, and then if I click away, it's telling me that the document root, so the physical location of the files for the subdomain are going to be located in a folder called new node app.openjavascript.info. So that's going to be a folder that it creates in the root of my shared hosting account. So I'll go ahead and click create here. So that's been created. That means automatically a folder will have been created in the root of my shared hosting account. So we'll open up the file manager to see that. See it's here. I didn't create this before the tutorial. This was created automatically when I created the new subdomain. And as you can see, it's almost empty. So what you want to do here is to upload the app files themselves minus the node modules folder. So you could also upload the node modules folder, but if you have a package.json file in your app directory, then those will be installed server side when we set up the node app. So for now, all I'm going to upload here is app and the package.json files. So on the server side in cPanel here, I hit upload and I can just drag and drop those files. Okay, so the app files are now inside the root folder for the new subdomain. So we should be able to see those if I go to new node app, sorry, new node app dot open JavaScript, which is my main domain openjavascript.info, then we should see the files exist here, but we haven't started the app yet. So to do that, you go back into cPanel, and the quickest way to find it is just by a search here. So you want to access setup node app under software, and then click create application. Now the application URL is going to be the subdomain that you have created and the application root is going to be exactly the same as this. This is actually different from the URL. This is the physical location, the root of your app on your shared hosting account. So it saved it in a folder which is which has the same name as the URL. So that can be a little bit confusing. Now the startup file for my app is called app.js. So this is my app, very simple. It's returning a, a H1 title in HTML format. And I'm asking my app to listen adaptively. So to the port that the server decides to run the app on. Now back in cPanel, if you want to set the port manually, you can do that by adding an environment variable here. 
So the name of it should be port, and then you can set it to run on, for example, port 3002. So it will actually work without this. So I'm just going to leave this empty, but if you do want to hard code the port that it runs on, then you can do that down there. Now, all you have to do to start up the server is hit create here. So after a few moments, the app will be up and running. So if I refresh the URL of the subdomain, you see it's 503 at the moment, but that is because we haven't installed the express dependency that this app depends upon. So we have to go back into cPanel here, and I'm going to stop the app and this is where you install the dependencies. So click here and that's going to install all the dependencies listed in package.json. So that's why it's important to include the package.json file and why you can get away without uploading the node modules folder. Okay, now if we access this URL again, and as you can see, it's sending back the expected result. So the server is up and running and Express has clearly been installed. Now, finally, if you have SSH access to your shared hosting account, then you can log in in the normal way. And then if you run this command here, this is going to allow you to work with your app via the command line, just like you would locally in the terminal. And that's it. So it's pretty straightforward and now you're able to test your Node app in a live environment. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps us with the algorithm and others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.